name is Grace. If you're new here, it's June 29th and I think I said it's Monday. If you are really new here, I'm studying for the bar exam. So that's what I've been doing all morning. It's 11 o'clock now, almost. I just did the evidence MBE workshop, which is basically 25 practice multiple choice questions and you do the questions and then you have to watch the video after which goes through all of the answers and why they're right or wrong and it's really really helpful especially on topics that you're unsure of and I thought I was going to bomb the evidence because I'm just never good at evidence but I actually did well the goal was to get 16 right out of 25 and I got 17 right so technically that's passing although barely, but it's still passing. I haven't really been working out. Um, I don't think I worked out once last week. I'm just out of the routine and I haven't wanted to do weight workouts because ever since I got sick, which if you're new here, I have like a stomach disease. I don't know. I just can't even talk about it. But ever since I got sick, I haven't been doing weight workouts. So I've just lost a lot of strength. So I really just don't want to do weight workouts. I've just been running or walking and now the park that I go to they charge ten dollars to get in they haven't been charging because there was nothing to do but I don't know I think like the fishing thing is open so now they're charging so I'm not paying ten dollars to park to go on a run so I just like don't know what to do I don't want to run around my neighborhood because there's way too many hills like steep hills I'm gonna watch this video now take notes the videos are really really helpful and I like to when I do the questions I don't do it on every question but I will obviously answer it but at the top I put what the question was about so like this one was judicial notice the other one was authenticating evidence things like that because a lot of the times MBE questions are like trick questions like you might be thinking it's an issue about authenticating evidence let's say but it's actually in he a hearsay problem so they try to trick you so I always try to figure out what the real issue is and that has helped me a lot especially with evidence in getting more answers right because you have to know what the actual issue is if you are answering the question based off the wrong issue obviously you're gonna get the answer wrong and I don't label on here, the right answer, if I got the question wrong, because I tried to do it again a second time to see if on the second go around, I get it right. So I'm gonna go back to studying and I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm just wondering where you at. Just thought I'd call and wish you good night. I left my key under the mat. I don't get anything done, you stuck in my mind. I keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe This feeling I go when I say we'll be high Won't you come on over? Don't you miss me too? Give it all you got, babe, give it all you got, baby I'd rather try than lose you Give it all you got, baby Give me all you got It's now one twenty. I'm just leaving to go get my car serviced. Um, I have to go to the place where I got the car because this is a lease. I still get questions sometimes like, did I get a new car? Yes, I got a new car, a Jeep in October. It's a Jeep Compass. Um, I think it's a 2019 Limited with the leather interior. I don't really know many of the details about it, but yes, I got a new car in October. I got it myself. No one bought it for me or anything. Oh, Jesse's back. And I love it, but I just never said anything about it because 
I don't know, I just didn't. <laughs> do you want to come with me? No. I do, but I can't. Can you take this inside? I just got home. It's now 4.20. Uh, the oil change took like an hour or so. I just studied while I was there. But I got my Critical Pass flashcards in. I'm so excited. So thanks to whoever sold them to me. Just They were from like a Facebook group for anyone in the legal field. So students, lawyers, I guess that's it. <laughs> but she sold them to me for $80, which is amazing because they're usually like $170. Obviously, I don't have access to the app because that's like a one-time thing. But again, I don't really want the app and if I need it I can you know always get that at a later date but I don't feel like I'll need it considering I have all of these and I'm just so happy to have these oh my god so if I'm like studying a topic and I'm going somewhere and I just want to bring stuff for that topic I can just like bring these that's just so exciting to me I don't know so this is what the Critical Pass flashcards look like. If you're wondering, they also have MEE -E flashcards, so flashcards for the essays. It just has everything under the sun that you can need to know for the bar exam. So I just wrote out what I have to do for the week. I've been doing this in the notes section of my computer just because the way it's set up on Barbary isn't always the way I want to do it, like in the order. So I did obviously all of Monday. And then I did the Crim Pro set because I was just sitting here studying. So I figured I would do it. That's what it's looking like. There's a lot of short assignments this week. Well, there's two days of property, but the rest of the things are just shorter question sets and review things. So I really need to focus on actually studying this week on my own, you know, reading the outline, doing flashcards, stuff like that, because obviously like me doing these criminal procedure questions would not be helpful at all if I hadn't studied because I wouldn't know anything and then I'm just guessing. And I pretty pretty consistently get 60%, which is like what you need to get to pass. Um, I pretty much always get 60%. But the thing with these review questions or the learning questions is like four of them are just black letter law questions and that's not the way the questions are on the bar. The bar is all hypos or hypothetical questions like you get a fact set. And the black letter law questions you just aren't going to get that. You know like which amendment did the right to a speedy trial come from? Like you'll never get a question like that on the bar. So even though I'm doing you know fine on those sets that isn't indicative of how I would do in the bar exam because the black letter law questions to me are always easier than the hypos. It's storming out which is nice. I think I'm gonna call it quits at least on the questions for the day because I'm starting to get to that point where I just can't read anymore and I'm skimming the questions and if I'm not gonna do it fully there's no reason to be doing it at all. Peach is here and that's all. Good morning you guys welcome back to another vlog I think I'm not sure if I'm combining this with my vlog from Monday but today's Thursday so either it's a new vlog or it's not sorry about this deodorant stain just got up and I'm gonna work out I haven't worked out in like two weeks really for no specific reason I just like haven't I didn't vlog yesterday because I was in the weirdest like cloud you know and you just can't seem to wake up and I spent literally 10 hours studying yesterday. Actually 10 hours. Because I had nothing else to do and I was like, fuck it, I might as well just study. So I studied all day and I didn't vlog the day before that. And I also just studied all day. And sometimes it, I can vlog the days that I study, but some days like I just don't do anything other than sit there and read and write and do practice questions. So there's literally nothing to show. 
which was yesterday for sure. At the end of the day, I looked like that meme of the fox where he's like distraught. That's exactly what I looked like yesterday. So today I'm not going to do that. I've also finished up, I want to say like 90% of the stuff for the week I had to do study wise because I just went ahead and did so much extra, you know, whether it be practice questions or reading, I did a lot of that yesterday. So today I really don't have much to do study wise, hence going to Target because I need to get out of the house. But I have to finish my coffee here. That was a caramel cookie Nespresso pod. Those are so good. So much better than the regular caramel. It's a little less bitter. I drink them black, so they're all pretty much a little bitter, but this one isn't as bad. But this is my workout outfit of the day. You've seen it a million times. Victoria's Secret pink sports bra. Lululemon Wonder Unders, and these are the leopard ones, of course. And sneakers are from Walmart. I'm done working out. I just did arms and I did a little bit of abs because usually the first day back to working out, if I took time off, I do legs and I go really hard and then I cannot move for like four days. So I didn't want to do that. But I wanted to show you these new resistance bands I got from, it's called Boss Fitness and I'll have it linked below and it's actually owned by my friend Lisa, if you guys have been watching me, from law school and her fiance Jordan. They own this fitness apparel and equipment company and they just started it a few months ago so I got these resistance bands and they're amazing you get all these different strengths so if you want it to be like really heavy or light you can do that you can do leg works you can do leg workouts with these arms shoulders back you can literally do anything so if you're looking for any sort of fitness stuff check out their website it'll be linked below no this isn't sponsored I'm just helping out my friend but now I have to take a shower because I'm super gross and my hands are so shaky. I have to hold the camera with two hands. So I'm going to take a shower and I'll be back. Already. I'm just gonna go to Target now. It's 11, 12. Maybe it'll just go in the morning. Maybe less people will be there. And I honestly just don't feel like studying after studying for 10 hours yesterday. Today I'm like, I'd rather do literally anything else in the world than study. But this is the outfit. Uh, it's all pretty new. This shirt is from Forever 21. It's like seven dollars. I just love basic little tank tops like this in the summer. Necklace is Tiffany. Shorts are American Eagle. I'm obsessed with these shorts. They do get looser as you wear them, which is good. These just came out of the dryer, so they're a little tight, but they'll loosen up. And then these sandals are Amazon, and they're little like leopard bow sandals, and they're very comfy. And I just need to stop wearing the bow sandals with the studs right now because I wear them every single day. So this is the outfit. I'm going to go hit up Target, need my phone. I've been obsessed with drinking Crystal Light recently. I don't drink it in excess. I maybe have like one a day and I split the packets in half because I feel one packet is just too much flavor for a bottle of water or like 16 ounces of water. This cup is from Etsy, so I'll link it down below. I got it from, I think, Lauren McKenzie Details or Decals. I've had it for a few years and I love this cup. Don't you feel that too? Uh, the 
I'm home. I got home from Target a little while ago. Target really didn't have anything. I was going through the aisles with like the glasses and silverware and stuff like that and they literally didn't have anything. There's these cups that I want to get that are glass and they kind of look like a soda can or a beer can like that's just the shape they are and they didn't really have any sets of cups or plates or anything. The only ones they had were like $60 so just like nothing I would really buy since we're registered for plates and bowls and cups and stuff so really in the meantime we're just going to be like having odds and ends and as for decorations and stuff they didn't really have anything I think they're sort of between seasons right now because they had all of their back to school stuff being put into the shelves and all of their summer stuff was gone because I was also looking for like outdoor toys for my nieces and for our Sophia we and on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control you. Push me then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more, think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be alive. All right, now it is like 4, 15. I had to charge my camera and export all the stuff off my memory card, hence not vlogging. Jesse and I are going to go get Chipotle for dinner, even though it's only 4.15. I'm so hungry. And honestly, because I've been waking up pretty late recently, like 9, 9.30, which is way too late. Like, I should be waking up at 7. I end up being productive a little later also, so I'll be productive in the morning, not so much in the afternoon, and then around like 7 o'clock. I just have this extra burst of energy so hopefully during that extra burst I'll edit I have more laundry to do and then study probably not but maybe but most important so is that we get food. exposed when you're keeping me wondering you know I do anything to be in your arms again so give me a sign give me a sign oh give me a sign Baby, give me a sign. Just okay, me I just washed my face. I'm literally gonna do my skincare in bed right now. My skin has been breaking out recently, which it's probably from stress and all of the medicine I was on. <laughs> now that I'm off of most of the medicine, I'm still on some of it, but most of it, I feel like it'll clear up, but I've been trying to just really make sure I wash my face every day because I wasn't doing it every day because I wasn't wearing makeup, but this is the e.l.f. Keep Your Balance Toner, and of course, Curology. But I've really been trying to set a good night routine, even if I don't go to bed until one in the morning. Wash my face, brush my teeth, put on real pajamas, like not just the clothes I was wearing during the day. And one other thing I've been doing, which is kind of random, but actually really helpful, is when I'm done on the computer for the night, whether I'm just watching Netflix or if I'm editing a video or emails or doing something for uh, school slash the bar exam, what I'll do is make sure I exit out of my browser of everything so that when I open it in the morning, I'm not just faced with emails or studying. Because if I wake up and I see Barbary open, I'll just start studying. And that's what happened to me the past two days hence why I didn't vlog. I just started studying the second I woke up. I didn't wash my face. I didn't get out of my pajamas. I literally opened my computer in bed, 
and studied in my pajamas all day for like 10 hours and I felt disgusting at the end of the day. So I'm not doing that. So I've been trying to like close my browser, plug my computer and go to bed, wake up and like have coffee and not even go on the computer because I think if I go on the computer, I'm not going to work out because I'm just going to start studying. So the thing is like I have to get up, have coffee, put on my workout clothes and work out before even opening my computer. Right now I'm just uploading my vlog while exporting it even though I can't upload it tomorrow because I have to film my update video. I'm just going to wait for that to export so I can just upload it so that it's ready to go for Monday at least and then I'll have all of my work done for the weekend after I film my other video. So yeah, I didn't study today, but that's okay because I can study over the weekend. I don't think I'm going to vlog tomorrow just because I really don't anticipate doing anything that's not just laying in bed studying and like working out. Like I don't have any stores to go to and I have anything to do, but I'm going to end this vlog here. My next vlog, I'm going to make it all about my routine because I'm going to try to get into one. So I'll probably vlog again on Monday and really try to get into a good, healthy, routine where I can work out, study, and go to bed early. That would be so fun if I didn't have to be up until one o'clock in the morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't. I think I said that too. I'll see you in the next one.